Hello, everyone. I'm Yifan Sang. Today, I'm happy to introduce our work, Tight Bonds on the Randomness Complexity of Secure Multiparty Computation. This is a joint work with Vipo Goya and Yuval Ishai. In this work, we consider the randomness complexity from a practical perspective. Generating high quality randomness from physical sources is difficult. Therefore, in general, we would like to reduce the randomness required in either an algorithm or a protocol as much as possible. From the theoretical perspective, the study of randomness complexity has led to important developments in computer science, such as the randomness, randomness extraction, and so on. We study the randomness complexity of MPC. We start with the simply setting of MPC, that is, perfect and semi insecurity against T corrupted parties and computing the XOR function. Later, I will mention extensions to other functions and MPC models. The randomness complexity of an MPC protocol is measured by the number of random coins tossed by all parties during the protocol execution. We allow parties to toss different number of random coins in different executions. The randomness complexity refers to the maximum number of random coins tossed in an execution for all possible inputs. The problem of randomness complexity of MPC has been studied by a fairly large body of works, which cover the directions of both lower bound and upper bound. Almost all of these works consider the same simple model as we do. Our research question is to understand how the randomness complexity for computing XOR grows with the number of crowded parties. The best known result for the upper bound is from KM97, where Kushilevis and Mansour constructed a protocol with randomness complexity out of T squared times log n over T random bits. On the other hand, they also gave a lower bound of omega T random bits. In BDPV99, the authors obtained a lower bound of omega t square over mst random bits. Then in GR05, the authors showed a lower bound of omega log n random bits for t that is at least two. On one hand, when t is a constant, the upper bound from KM97 matches the lower bound from GR05. On the other hand, when t is very close to n, say t is equal to n minus a constant, then the upper bound from KM97 matches the lower bound from BDPB99. However, for general T, even if T is equal to n half, there is still a quadratic gap between the known upper bound and the lower bound. Our first result shows that computing XR requires at least omega T square random bits, which matches the upper bound from KM97 up to a logarithmic factor. We show that the same lower bound applies for arbitrary symmetric pooling functions, such as the end function and the majority function. Our second result constructs an explicit protocol for XR with order of t squared times log squared and random bits. This is different from the construction in KM97, which relies on an explicit combinatorial object. Our upper bound matches our lower bound up to a polylogarithmic factor and we extend our result to arbitrary symmetric Boolean functions. Regarding our techniques for lower bound, we connect the randomness complexity to the number of parties views, and then to the size of the codor space of T private encodings. Our result is obtained by analyzing the size of the codor space of T private encoding schemes. For our upper bound, we give an explicit construction for the combinatorial object in KM97. Besides our main results, we also show that running TXR functions require tail of out of T square random bits, which means that each execution only requires tail of out of T random bits. When allowing helper parties, we give an explicit protocol for general circuits with out of T square times log C random bits, where C is the circuit size. For more details about our techniques, please refer to the full video and our paper on ePrint. Thank you.